Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time. It's the Farts and Crap Show, and today we have more Code Vein revisited. Today is a very special occasion, um, because this series just uh just turned forty. It's a man. It's forty. Um, yeah, 40 episodes. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Also, I just realized something. Um, I didn't do the second boss. I don't think. No. No, I didn't do the second boss in the in the last episode. Um so I gotta make my way back over there. Walking fast faces past them. Get over here. Get over here. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? on the same fool? On the same one? What? What? Um... Crimson Longsword would actually be a little bit better, but, um... It's better defensively, too. It's a lot better defensively. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Can't use the Executioner, can't use the Blazing Claw. Yeah. Guess the crimson longsword. I mean the uh, the ice blades. You know, ice blades good, but uh, <laughs> no, I'll stick with the ice blade. It's fine. Got him. I'm gonna try to increase my um max high core a little bit before I do the boss. Shabang. Oh, crap. interest that was weird
this will be fun. Probably just like run past uh, the rest of these guys, which is a total of four. Oh shit! Uh, uh. All right, this will be fine. There we go. Whoa! Oh no, that's fourfold verdict. Like that, what are you doing? Back here. Damn. Give me, give me, give me. Thank you. Oh, you can't uh, get through that, can you? Vested Joe. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh shit, no. Uh... Actually, you know, I get. Oh my goodness, what a jerk. Alright. I thought that'd be clear of it, but. Dude. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Looks like he needed to chill. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Look at there. I got a dagger. This area is done. I believe so. Uh, let's see. Use the inventory and check what we got. Oh, yeah, charisma. Whoops. Use that. Wham. You've acquired charisma. You are now charming AF. Ten thousand. 
ten thousand. Bam. Mm. Should be enough to level, right? Yeah. Wasn't sure how much I needed. I knew it was somewhere in the ballpark of 150. I gotta stop doing that. Um. Oh. There's two for this one, not three. Uh, let's find out. Oh, I'm gonna need something faster. So, I'm gonna switch to the Crimson Log so it's done. Oh, yeah. Now, this is one of my favorite fights, if not my favorite fight in the entire game. Part of the reason is uh, you guys may remember. Uh, a little while ago, where there was that reveal with Mido, he was talking about they basically revealed that uh, God Eater and Code Vein truly are in the same, like the same world, same like, not just universe, but actual same world world. So, like when I first played this, and I hadn't, you know, it was my first time playing through the game. I thought, oh, hey, cool, God Eater weapons and Code Vein, interesting, whatever. It's like, whatever, you know, crossover shit that doesn't make any sense because it doesn't have to. I mean, doesn't make perfect sense because they don't know anything about like origami cells they don't have to wear um oracle cells sorry they don't know anything about origami they don't but revenants might actually be compatible with oracle cells potentially like maybe it doesn't affect them and maybe they just don't know, you know? Maybe the God Eater weapons actually are God Arcs, you know? And anyway, to those of you who don't like know the lore of God Eater, essentially all of the weapons in God Eater are called God Arcs and you have to like wear the armlet so it doesn't infect you because uh, essentially you are killing the monsters, the origami, with, um, like the origami version of super cancer <laughs> formed into like a blade or a gun or something like that. So it's, um... It's very interesting. Um, Cause maybe it's not just a cool extra. Maybe it's like something that they're going to talk about in the next game. Maybe that'd be cool. Like the Code Vein people, like meet the God Eater people. Not necessarily like the same cast of either. I mean, if it's a Code Vein follow-up, then hopefully, like, all the characters return that would make sense to return, like Eo and Louie and Yakumo and Rin, um, and that sort of thing. But it doesn't necessarily have to have, like, Lindo and Lika, although, my goodness, if Rin and Lika become best friends, yes, I want that. I want that. But that's the fanboy in me. <laughs> like, I really want them to, like, you know, hit it off and 
fall in love and all that shit. But, but yeah, that's that's the fanboy in me. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, which I don't know, that's famous, but um, I I just think it's not. I, I see to a lot of fans of both of Code Vein and God Eater. Um, they wanted the two to be separate, like 100% separate. And I'm like, I don't mind that they are in the narrative even, like connected. There are some interesting ways you could go with that, you know. I don't mind that at all, but uh, I just I just hope they do something cool with it. Anyway, this is a Hannibal, basically. It's an origami from uh, God Eater. It looks a little bit different, but it's it's a Hannibal, basically. But it's like the coolest freaking Hannibal fight ever. Shit.
fine. It's all for the best, I guess. Um, I forgot they wanted me to use a specific blood code anyway for one of the EO outfits. So that's what I'm going to do. And also I need to use the, 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 the skill thing that they want me to use. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Um, and it appears that I'm supposed to use electricity on this bastard, which I'm okay with. I'm totally okay with that. Plasma raw. Actually, wait, do I have the brush on bust? Uh, blast bolt. Yeah, let's do that. And then Bridge to Glory, Overdrive, and Lightning Weapon. Use Dexterity, Willpower, Defender's Guidance, I don't need that on. Uh, maybe Improve Regeneration, possibly. Uh, one handed Sword Mastery. Oh, hmm. It's willpower at B plus. Do I need it to be a B plus? Mind is an A plus. I definitely don't need to increase that. Why is it? Oh, because they just won the. Um, things right uh let's go with swift destruction then and oh right i absolutely have to use that one thing now i get rid of overdrive then whatever at least temporarily Wait, no, this one can't be temporary. Hmm. Let's put cleansing light here then. Drive there and I got the bike there. Seven seventy three. That is really not that great. Dexterity and then strength and willpower. Dexterity and willpower, mind and willpower. Dexterity is only at a C plus, okay. Never got mind and vitality up. Hmm. Dexterity and willpower instead. There we go. B and B plus. Seven eighty four. Okay. It's actually higher? Huh. Interesting. Oh, right, because in... No, because I had Swift Destruction. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Alright, so let's find out... 
what it's at now. Fifteen ninety nine. That's not bad. It's not that bad. And this one is what improves stag resistance and reduces for drain effectiveness. Sure, whatever. Not bad.
shit. for the assist to you. Dude, I got so many of the things done. <laughs> wow. Cool. Cert. That's actually a really cool uh, blood code. Okay. Okay, pretty boring. Mm-hmm. Pretty boring. MJ three ten, that's that's always good. Oh, I got the uh blood veil too. Nice. Cert flame core, cool. I got one of the vestige cores. More MJ three ten. Another blood veil. Cert flame core two, nice. The sword I wanted. Great. EO, alpha change, yeah, the dark EO, has resonance or anything words. The other costume? Dude, sick. Very cool. Yeah, sorry, I was being very quiet that whole time. I was like. <laughs> focusing um so the inferno blade yeah it has an a plus strength scaling which is awesome and it's a uh, super lightweight only a uh, 33 and i mean just look how cool that is just look at that thing it's awesome So I'm trying to, yeah, things tight. All right, the default triangle is just like a sweep. Hold triangle is like a two slash step, pretty cool. It's just the vertical and uh, one of those. But yeah, it has the exact same move. Uh, Exact same moves and speed as the uh, Crimson Longsword. Crimson Longsword might be a little bit more. Oh, yeah. And it does that. Uh, I forget which move it is, but it adds a fire buff to it. Is it that one? Ah, it's the charge one. J 
which adds 35 fire damage. It's pretty cool. I guess it carries over to... Yeah. What other weapon you uh, change to during the effect. Very cool. But yeah, A plus strength scaling. Super good. I mean, I don't think any other. Well, Black Saber has A strength scaling, but. I mean, the Infernal Blade is for fire. Weapon, it's pretty great. Pretty great. Um, I could also go for the uh, two-handed blade, but I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, let's see. Oh, and the cert blood code, right? That's a uh, really high strength scaling overall. I mean, that's like its only upside. And like the really cool um uh uh gifts that you get. I mean that's really the best part, but I don't remember if you have to restore the vestiges or if you just like have them. Strength and fortitude, I don't care about that. Uh, but yeah, Homing Hellfire and Dancing Fireblade. Both really good. Like, really good. Uh, I actually prefer Homing Hellfire. And I might be able to max out proficiency. Oh yeah, I can. I'll probably do that then. Um... Because it goes off of uh, willpower, um, which I think the willpower stat for cert is garbage, if I remember right. Yeah, it's pretty bad as C plus. Like strength and fortitude are the only two good stats, so. Not really my go-to. And it takes forever to master. It takes a very long time. Like a surprisingly long time. Um, however, if I max it out and go back to Queen Blood Code, I can deal some major freaking damage with that. So I think I'm actually going to do that. Okay, there's the queen. Hmm. Can't use the Inferno Blade, unfortunately, but whatever. I'm perfectly happy using the Crimson Longsword. Um... this one. Oh, right. I have to max out the duh. Duh, hoi. We're going inherit. Um, okay, what was the one? Purging Thorn I never got. That's, that's, that's good. It's a good move. It's real good. Um, that's the only other one? Okay. 
Alright. I probably still do have to check the thing. Um But yeah, I mean we're done here. Uh, oh right. Eo's new costumes, right. Okay, so this is her dark version. Did he hide the hut? Oh, there we go. Pretty cool. I mean, the like, the leg thing is uh, kind of more like a lace pattern instead of like the, the bandage wrap things that she usually has. So that's pretty tight. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. And the other one is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get three color options for the alternate version it's pretty great um so yeah there's this one which again is all right if you know you're if you like the purple tones or whatever pretty good her uh, shoes are a little bit different. Oh my goodness. Sometimes the camera gets like... Gets stuck on certain objects and stuff. It's probably be better if I like... Get out of this weird hellfire grass. We got color one. Uh, let's actually not go into the dock there we go so it's EO's uh, classic white same outfit these are just different color schemes sorry the uh, the camera will also like clip into people get stuck that way too. Yeah, also pretty good. I mean that one, I, I kind of like that one the best because it kind of feels more like her style, you know, I guess. Anyway, if you just gotta have a bit of color though. And there's this one which is, I don't know, it's all right, I guess fine it's kind of similar but like you know the dress like tail part is like black and then kind of a mix because you still like the purple and the blood veil I'm not really a fan of this one but uh, it's there so yeah they definitely uh, definitely look a bit more coordinated this way. I mean, like with uh, Zerp's outfit and uh, Eo's outfit. It's like they look like they're on a team, you know what I mean? Pretty cool, pretty cool, man. Um, what else didn't I... Oh, max out the proficiency and I'll show you guys the, the move that I was talking about with the cert thing. Um, max out proficiency, 15, yep, there we go. Homie Hellfire mastered the gift. Cool. 
get rid of that one and I think well actually I don't know about that for sure um I'll put blood sacrifice back up here where it usually goes there we go And this one I'll trade out for uh, maybe Iron Will, maybe Overdrive. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so here's what it do. Oh, and I don't need Pioneer's Guidance on here. Let's go with, uh, can willpower even go any higher than where it's at? Oh, no, 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 that's, yeah, that's S, okay. Uh, yeah, where is it? There we go. All right, check it. Yeah, just creates this big vortex and like follows the enemy, like you know, slowly, but still. With like a high willpower stat, it's very handy. It's just chunking through his HP. rather dumb of me. I just tried to jump. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. What am I doing? You can't jump in this game? <laughs> That's funny. guys well that's gonna do it for today uh next time i'm gonna be going over to ah uh, i haven't been there yet um cool well yeah we're gonna go back to the home base and uh go to the next uh dlc area which uh again it's gonna have more weapons, more blood codes, more blood veils, more uh, character outfits, and all of it is unlockable by doing certain challenges, like the the super boss thing. And do um, you know? It's pretty cool. At face value, like when I first heard about it, it was very glossed over and I was like, oh, that's dumb. And then I played it and I was like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> so it's a matter of preference. I mean, I was really wanting like a Dark Souls approach to DLC, you know, more areas, more characters like a supplemental story that kind of ties into the main story that would have been great but more tools to use in the main game that's also really cool I don't mind it so anyway have a beautiful day everybody thank you for stopping by and a very special thank you to Artifacts channel members, Retro HD and Old Cranky Gamer. Thank you guys for checking out that join button down below and choosing to support the show a bit more directly. It greatly helps out. And, um, 
case you guys are wondering, yes, I'm very tired. And I'm going to go to sleep now. So, until next time, take care. <laughs>